the police station. Uh, following distances. First aid trainings. Inspirational talks. To the courthouse. The hospital. Basic maintenance. The blind spots are with the heavy vehicles. They actually cut somebody out of a car. Lock accident. A controlled driving course. All the pedestrians and the push bike riders. Some mental health first aid training. The practical demonstrations. Going to the morgue. Gravel road driving. Car club. We have a Mack truck. Showing uh, young men and women how to drive safely and share the road with heavy vehicles. the victims in a mock crash yeah and Chelsea had spinal injuries and I was fatal and our heart rates are meant to be 170 and Chelsea got up to 180 and I got to 130 because it was so scary we held hands the whole time because it was just so like freaky in there like your heart rate just you could feel it and you could feel yourself shaking and it's just so like scary real, like, yeah, it was really real my name's Tim, I'm one of the paramedics at the moment. Um, as you can see, Chelsea looks pretty banged up. In real life, it would be a lot messier and she would have a lot less clothes on. The students start their week with a mock accident, which is organised by the Triple O services, where they see, they actually cut somebody out of a car and they see what happens in, in a, a mock accident situation. And they follow in, in the afternoon that through with going a, a visit to the hospital, to the morgue, to the police station and then they go to the courthouse and the insurance agencies. They have various speakers, somebody that survived an accident but is injured because of that that will speak. We might have um, somebody that's lost somebody in an accident. We have students come out to the car club for a full day and they have three different courses at the car club. We also have um, a heavy vehicle, we have a Mack truck. We have um, Bill Manton, who's a driver trainer from Brisbane and he's come down especially. The students will get to um, experience what it's like to be in a heavy vehicle and we discuss blind spots. The young you know, men and women, they just didn't understand all the blind spots that we actually have in the heavy vehicles and was very surprised. And we also talked about you know, following distances, um, you know, safe distances, not pulling in front of heavy vehicles. Uh, also not to follow heavy vehicles too close behind because then we can't see them. Students also go to one of our local mechanics and he discusses what to look for when you're buying a car and he also shows the students basic maintenance. Every school should really um, follow this model. It's, it's a, it, it is an eye-opener. Um, the, the theory behind it, we've got theory sessions here, we've drive with a driving school instructor here. We've got the practical demonstrations happening out here, so they're under supervised control. In a controlled environment with cars that are safe and roadworthy. And uh, it's a great program, like every everyone in a grade 10 and 11, where they get into the age where they need to learn how to start driving, every school should be endorsing a program of some sort for driver education and incorporate the heavy vehicle side of it as well so we can demonstrate to children you know, what we go through and what they need to do to respect what we do. We'd like to thank the emergency services, the volunteers and the Drivers Ed Committee for all that they've done to put this week together and to teach us all about driving and everything that happens with it.